Hello guys and welcome to episode 66 of my Total War Three Kingdoms playthrough playing as Sun Qian on very hard difficulty. Today we are likely going to be going for the end of the campaign in that we will own all of the settlements on the map. We got a few major battles to do. We got the one at Ying Tuan, we got the one at Chen, uh, we got the uh, one at Runan, uh, both at the large regional city and the Iron Mine. And then we have the battle with Bougie. So it's going to be quite the finale, wiping out the Yellow, Yellow Turban Rebellion once and for all. Let's get to it. So, Sun Qian, he is uh, currently moving over in this direction to help out. We have Sun Chuan, who is going to head his way towards Bougie. Although, actually, first of all, what I'm going to do is attack with Hong Long and Yu. And then we'll move Sun Chuan to where he retreats to after this battle, if he gets forced to retreat. But we're going to go night battle, and we're going to jump on in. Once this army is destroyed, I don't think there's any large armies in the area that can be a threat, so it should be okay. Let's go. Oh, we stand opposite each other. I think the formation's more or less fine. I am tempted to put my archers and so on in front. But I don't think we're going to bother. I'm going to put these guys into their total formations. Right at the front. Uh, then we'll have these guys on the right flank. These guys on the left flank. And then... Our protectors of heaven are the very rare. Brilliant. Cav on the flanks. Uh, let's just move my strata just back a little bit. The other two can hang forwards. Great. We'll start the battle. So I probably want to use the explosive rounds. With the Yellow Turban Rebellion, they don't tend to use loose formations, so we should get a lot of good hits here. I am tempted to target the units behind, but I think it's more common the shots overshoot than undershoot. Saying that couple just undershot there. As they get closer, they'll be more accurate anyway. Damn. <laughs> That's a lot of burnt yellow turban arches. Oh, that was some nasty hits. Watching those trebuchets come in is never going to get old. Sinchuan versus Humu Shu. Eh, why not? Might be a bad idea. I'm not entirely sure of the strength of Yellow Turban units. He's got a Great Glaive. Jade Archer, Red Stallion. I think we'll be okay. Our guy does have the Adamant Resolve buff. His melee weapon's not too great, but yeah, we can just use the bonus. And he should have more or less, yeah, 118% melee evasion, so he's not going to get hit anytime soon. Right, these uh, trebuchets are getting more accurate now, which is good. We can tell them just fire straight at the archers, I think. I need to have my crossbows. Specifically, target their arches. Have those arches hit there, those ones hit there. We 
We should be able to win the skirmish. They are targeting my archers specifically, which is quite something. Oh, when they break formation and charge like that, it looks so cool. Oh dear, my guy's losing pretty bad. How come he healed? Wow. Didn't even know that was a thing. I think he is a... He's a veteran. Oh, there is healers nearby. Okay, I think they healed him. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Alright, we'll tell him to run. Get out of here. Actually, it's probably better to interrupt than make them run, I think. Right, let's smash that unit of yellow turban archers. The rest of their units are more or less routed already. Right, let's uh, have our cavs start running off. Running down the stragglers. Okay, great. Taking down those guys, let's just uh, take these off guard so they keep chasing. Oh wow, we crushed that unit like instantly. Uh, we need to stop these guys firing. We don't kill our own guys. Fang Long and Yu. She does have the Celestial Sword, which is pretty good. But with those healers nearby, I'm not a massive fan of the jewels there. I didn't realize how much they would heal that. Crazy. I thought he was winning quite well, and then all of a sudden he was just full health. Alright, ran down all of them. We can certainly do a lot of damage to the healers. Uh, with Huang Long and Yu. She is certainly chunking them. We haven't used our protects of heaven. They're kind of standing at the back as a rear guard. The reason I'm making sure to run them all down is so that. Uh, the army gets destroyed, it doesn't actually retreat. We shall see though. If we're able to make that the case. Go on Hong Long and you take down that guy with your sword. Try and kill off all the leaders if we can. Oh, he got away. Alright, we'll claim victory there. That was pretty decisive. Our archers still got a lot of kills even though they were focused. Fifty-seven heroism, very good. Umushu would give us the Jade Archer. Anything else you want? I would want the red stallion, but yeah, we'll execute him, that's fine. This guy is going to end up giving us the stone archer. I guess that's as good as it gets with him. Is that a gun? Or gun? Is it like some sort of melee weapon? 
Traveler's walking staff. I guess it's like pronounced Goon. Something like that. Unless I'm saying that wrong. Either way, we'll execute him as well. Take the replenishment. Thank you very much. Alright, so we'll go into normal stance then. And we'll come across towards Feng Tao. That's Sun Chuan move. This guy is going to come around and keep following Sun Xian. We can put him into March. And so, he's going to help this attack. We're in normal stance. Uh, let's just move forwards. We'll issue the declaration. We are very treacherous right now, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's just starve them out. We'll bring up Sensa. Maybe we can get some awesome jewels in. Okay. Off we go. Not sure what type of leaders these are. But if there is a veteran amongst them, then we can probably let Sensa kill one of them. Our reinforcements are coming in behind us, that's nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, let's have a look at these cataphracts. We haven't seen them in battle yet. Oh, they're pretty badass. Okay. If you compare them to our normal cav that we've been using, they are pretty ridiculous in comparison. That's a direct comparison right there. <laughs> wow. They look awesome, but their stats are not that much better. It's kind of weird. Like, I guess the armor will help them out quite a bit, but there we go. Either way, uh, that's pretty much everything we need to do. Let's just start the battle. We'll take down the towers. Uh, I'm probably just going to destroy the towers with the trebuchets. Because, I mean, there's, we're going to have more trebuchets anyway, so it's fine. I have so much cav. Ah yes, Cheng Pu, my absolute failure of a duelist. Actually, you know what? I might just go for burning them down. It depends if these hit at all. Yeah, they've just completely missed every single hit. That's so silly. Uh, let's just go and put these guys into loose formation. Oh wait, no way are they actually going to charge us. Oh my. They are so very dead. Uh, decline. <laughs> let's go ahead and get Sun Tzu into duel. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. <laughs> that was nasty. Oh, uh, we actually only have like one more trebuchet. Wait, what? I'm so confused right now. And Jun. Um is he got Decent stuff. I'm not sure. I don't think he does. Either way, he can go ahead and kill this guy quite easily. Go on, Sensei. Oh boy. Those trebuchets are going to have so many kills. It's going to be ridiculous. The thing is, we can just charge all of these guys as well. I would take that duel, but there really is no point. Alright, let's have since there's a new move to the right-hand side. Uh, I might have him duel this guy as well. 
He needs to get back on his horse, though. And he needs to get back to uh, friendly territory. <laughs> I need to turn off those dual requests because it's really annoying. There we go. Sorted. Uh, let's put these into their formations because they're being targeted by the archers. And where's my trebuchets at? Might as well have them fire at some of the archers. Well, they're saying that they're going to charge on him with the cataphracts. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a crazy battle. There's so much going on here. Oh boy. Look at the charge. We just obliterated those units. That is ridiculous. They have so much mass. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, well, we'll tell them to pull back. I don't really want to charge into the spears. Uh, they've now put spears in the way, so I can't really do that now. That's annoying. Uh, have these guys run out of ammunition? No. Let's uh, make sure we target these men of the forest over here. Uh, we need to make sure that we're using our archers to target them. Okay, good. Right. We have to pull away from the spears there. Our archers should kill their archers on that side. We can probably move around the lance calf. And engage. Well, the trebuchets and all our archers are firing at their archers now, so... I'm pretty sure we're good. Just annoying that we've had to like sponge the shots on our cav, but that's okay. Oh, that's it, that's victory. <laughs> that was incredible. They all charged out. And they got annihilated by our by our forces there. Damn, look at this cav. Any open field battle would have gone so much worse for them with this much cap. And when we have these full cavalry bad news, it's just insane. I think these cataphracts have so much mass in comparison to the normal lance cap. Anyway, we don't have to run them down. I was just doing it because it was cool. <laughs> Let's just uh, end that battle before the towers do too much damage. When we made that initial charge into the archer line, they just disappeared. That was crazy. Good to see Sensei have a duel again. That was nice. Couldn't really decide who else I wanted to duel. I wasn't sure if they were kitted out well enough, so I didn't want to risk losing any of my guys at the end there. This guy has the Book of Ceremonies. He also has the Physician's Robe. That's kind of useless for us. The Family Spear. Right, well, execute him and take that. Thank you very much. And Zhong Fang Ying. What's she going to give us? The Matched Zhan. She does have the Wei Liao Ji, which is actually quite nice, but I guess we'll have the Matched Zhan. I wish you could kind of choose one of their ancillaries rather rather than it be random. That was quite the battle, wow. That's going to increase our food massively though. Especially if we convert that as well. We've got a livestock farm, we've got the grain estates. Now we boosted it 100%. Because we already owned the Chen livestock farm there. 
And we just took the farmland. Yeah, so that's an extra eight food. Doubled, more or less. We're up to 60 food now. Good stuff. Oh, Wei Huang has leveled up. Nice. And so has Gan Lu. So Gan Lu can actually uh, change out his retinue now to a heavy spear guard. Not that it's really going to matter because he's basically fought his last battle of this war. Imagine how much of a relief it must be for these guys. After perpetual war for the last 20, 30 years, they're finally playing out their last battles and uniting the entirety of China. Imagine how that would feel. Right, he's not commanding, so we don't need to give him any of this stuff. I mean, reach is still good. Uh, let's go through Vengeance, though. Okay. Loads of ancillaries. Now, time to attack Ying Chuan. With Sun Tzu. Or Sun Ren, sorry. And uh, Kan Shen. Uh, we will have them out, bring up the other, other army. In we go. We have roughly the same amount of men, but ours are way higher quality. I think there's going to be quite a lot of towers. Um, actually, not as many as I thought. I thought there'd be more in the center, but there's not. Interesting. Right, our reinforcements are coming in over here, so we'll line up on this side. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep the cab at the back. Spread these out. We actually haven't used the Defenders of Earth much in battle. So, probably try and give them a go here. I think we've had them in the auto resolves. So we'll keep them as close as we can to the front so they can get in range because they have a shorter range than our standard archers and crossbows. Alright, I'll do. Start wailing on them. I will go to flammable rounds and probably set the settlement alight. I wonder if they're going to sally forth, actually. They might do. Oh yeah, we have Xinjiang in that army. Her and Sun Ren are like the two badass bitches of my empire. <laughs> I think they're sallying forth. Here they come. I think it gets to a point where the AI is just like, screw it, we're going to lose it anyway. Let's just run forwards. <laughs> kind of crazy. Ooh, that's a jewel. That is a jewel. We'll decline that one. I want uh, Xinjiang to uh, duel. Come on, Huang Fu Tingbao. Show us what you're made of. 
or the initial attack there. I'm going to make sure I'm targeting their ranged forces. Oh boy. Oh, mess him up. Oh. Some really cool animations with the two hand weapons, or two one hand weapons. We're letting the Defenders of Earth fire into the back of these engagements, I think. It's kind of cool. Yes, and Ren. Oh, she's running. Go on, shoot her. Shoot her in the back. Oh, you missed! How oh, did you miss? Oh, Sun Ren, please. That was your chance to do like a really cool shot in the back for her being a traitor. Jin Jeng's not having as good a, good a time with this fella. Come on, Jin Jeng. Show us what you're made of. Uh, I should probably move some guys over here. This flank is, is not good. <laughs> Actually, I guess I can just charge them with the cap. Let's do that. Oh, look at that. Xinjiang, Sun Ren. Lady friends till the end. We're gonna have to <laughs> sort this lot out. ASAP. Save the catapults. Oh, look at those charges coming in there. That is nasty. Oh, there's just so many men dying. Oh, shit. They're dead. They're so dead. We didn't take as much damage as I thought it would. Uh, I think my trebuchet is gone though. Meanwhile, at the front. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, oh boy. Look at that people's war band. Oh, it's ridiculous. Like, even the spearmen, the peasant spearmen just breaking in the face of those guys. Oh my. Saved our trebuchets. Job well done. Let's take on Her Yi. Her Yi is a healer, so I don't think he'll duel. But we'll just have to kill him the old fashioned way. Looks like he might also be unbreakable. Because the rest of his army is routed. Well, we are just absolutely annihilating them as they run away. Okay, that's it. Her Yi is a goner. Yellow Turban Rebellion, get out of here. The day <laughs> this battlefield is full of dead yellow turban men. Let this be a reminder to never rebel against my empire. And Ren covered in blood. Blimey. Absolute massacre.
It is pretty epic that they run forwards and like charge out. Oh, those Defenders of Earth got 600 kills. 690 kills on the Defenders of Earth. That must be like almost the highest kill count that I've seen. I think one of my trebuchets got like 800 kills once, but that is pretty damn close. Wow. Alright, uh, I'm sorry, Zhang Mu. You're gonna die and you're gonna give me my porcelain cup. It's a very nice and silvery. Expertise. Don't mind if I do. Let's change this to food production and we'll just demolish that for now. Alright, cool. That's that sorted. Now we have to take on Runan. And this is going to be a pretty interesting battle. It's actually going to be a much closer battle than the others because we are outnumbered pretty much two to one. But with the amount of kills that our guys get, I think we should be okay. Just going to make sure that uh, Yudai here is kitted out uh, before we throw him into battle. So uh, let's go ahead and give him something better. Actually, let's go to Xiao Yun. We'll give him the porcelain cup. That's then the best thing we can give him. I think it is. He's already got a mount. He's got his armor. He's got the dual war axes. Those weapons, pretty good. It might be worth giving him the heirloom spear though. We don't lose much damage, we get the expertise and instinct. Hmm. I think we're going to keep him with the dual war axes. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, this guy's got the Imperial Boat. Let's just uh, upgrade him a little bit as well. I am surprised that we don't have better stuff to give these guys. Considering the amount of ancillaries that we've actually just picked up. I think we can definitely give him something better than a wooden dog. Surely, come on. I mean, the stone monkey's not a bad idea. Uh, Wei Lao Shi. There we go. Nice. We'll take, give him that. Both of those guys are brave. Good old. Yu Dai is brave. And we have also Xiao Yun, who is brave. And he's honorable. Which is cool. Alright, let's jump into this battle. Oh, I should have said it as a night battle. Bomber. That's going to make things a little bit harder. Playing it on hard mode, guys. I guess it'll be the first battle in a while that's not a night battle. Actually saying that, both of the large battles weren't night battles, so... Yeah. I mean, this is the only battle where it matters that it's a night battle, and we didn't night battle, <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to come in the back so I don't have to deal with the towers as much. Although, saying that, we're going to need to deal with some of the towers anyway, because we can only get up to the center by going through here. So, I guess deploying where we are is okay. I'm going to have the crossbows ready to attack any trebuchets that might have the walls. And uh, I need some of these guys to... Oh! Just realized we don't even have flaming ammunition. Hmm. That might change the place where I go then. I am therefore tempted to attack this side. Because it would be much easier to kill those towers here 
and the ones on the edge, and we can go through here. I think that would probably be the best bet. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Four units of protectors of heaven. It's pretty ridiculous. Let's get the crossbows ready. Do they have trebuchets on the walls? No, they don't. Good. Alright, hit that fort tower for me, boys. We do have flammable rounds, but we don't have flaming ammunition. I thought composure on Zhao Yun would allow the mercenaries to use flaming ammunition, but I guess not. These aren't very high level trebuchets as well, so they're probably going to use up a lot of their ammunition before they actually do too much. We already destroyed the, uh, the barricade back in. Right, we open the gate. It's a start. It's good that the extra shots are hitting units behind. It makes these not a complete waste. Well, only one hit that. It looked like multiple hit. We need three more to hit the tower, and then we can target elsewhere. Probably to the right. Saying that, I think it doesn't really matter. We need to really destroy both of them. I'm hoping these shots are a bit better. Because we need enough ammunition to take down this fort tower as well. I think it's going to be close. We'll definitely open the gate. Oh nice, that was a good hit there. Only four more shots needed on the tower, hopefully the next volley will get it. Oh, completely miss. Not having the towers hitting their units is really bad for the most part, I think. But these towers will do so much damage if I keep them alive. I just don't know if it would be worth more hitting the yellow turban units. They actually have loose formation, which is not very common. From what I've noticed, anyway. These, like, hybrid units, they look so cool. Go on, take out that tower. As soon as that's done, we use these guys and turtle, and we start marching up. I just need to stay out of range of this tower and this tower. So we have like a small gap from like here to about here, where we can march up and not be shot by towers. Assuming that we take down that tower, we need one more hit. They just ran out of ammunition. <laughs> the last shot. 
<laughs> the last shot did it. That's incredible. All right, uh, let's just uh, YOLO some flammable rounds towards this uh, guards of the land and see if we can make that work. All right, let's speed things up. I'm really going to have to hope that they waste a lot of their ammunition here. Because they have so many archers. Has there been an update that stops them from doing so? I think there might have been. Yep, definitely. Maybe the shield wall still works though. Not sure. Yeah, it does. We'll probably just have to sacrifice our Shun Sword Guards. They're going to have a lot of ammunition. <laughs> Okay, this is rough. This is really rough. I really don't know how this is going to work out. I'm going to have my yellow dragons charge in there. I'm also tempted to have some climb the walls. Get our leaders up. Alright, time to move up our archers. Alright, you can duel that guy. Sherm is boss. Let's have Xiao Yun get off his force. I think I'm going to need the strategist near the healer so he doesn't heal this guy. It's pretty important. It looks like we're going to kill him very quickly. Uh, Xiao Yun is going to go crazy. Go on, get him, lad. We're still sponging missile fire there. We are also taking missile fire in the melee though. Which is not good. If I move these guys further to the right. And that's not too bad. Right, whilst they're engaged, uh, we can move forwards. Our guys, and I'm also going to allow my archers to fire into this. If we can break out of the gate, that'll make things a lot easier, I think. Okay, good. 
My leaders are certainly having to lead the charge here. <laughs> Alright, let's stop them firing. Not enough targets here for the archers right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to charge across into the peasant warriors. I'll probably leave uh, the one coming in to attack the uh, bringers of righteousness. Alright, let's have those archers fire again. This time into the peasant warriors. I think the amount of kills that these yellow dragons are going to get is going to be pretty crazy. Okay, good. Put them firing. Put them in a group so it's easier to do. Now these yellow dragons, I hope they stay alive until we attack their archers because their archers have run out of ammunition for the most part and they're going to start engaging in melee and it's going to be an absolute massacre <laughs> Right, having them off their horses is certainly helping. <laughs> Shun Sword Guard still taking the shots for us. Absolute champions. Oh, the charge! Look at the charge damage! Wow, those peasant warriors are getting annihilated. It's crazy. Alright, time to get some more in. I do want to get my cabin at some point. <laughs> Imagine being assigned. To this lot. You guys stand there and absorb arrows for us. That's your job. <laughs> You'd just be like, nope. <laughs> Absolute madman. That is some crazy discipline. Take down this veteran. Start smacking him. And we got good old Zhao Yun leading the charge. They're gonna have so many kills. It's gonna be good to see like our leaders have a lot of kills for once. Let's get my dude inside. Alright, I think we've almost got another target here for the archers. Uh, let's hit the reclaimers. I think these guys do have a little bit of missile block chance, so we're not too bad there. Oh yes, nice. That's uh, a good amount of arrow fire coming in there. Uh, we'll hit the guardians of the land as they come in. Imagine being at the front of this, like, Zhao Yun killing all of these dudes and then like all of the missile fire just coming in like just over your head and like annihilating all the guys in front of you. Crazy stuff. That's some really good missile fire. We do need to get our guy out of there. My strategist decided to charge in. Absolute madman. 
前天卫军，前天卫军，动作快点！黄龙军，准备作战，进攻！黄龙军，不要留情！ Let's have、uh, this one go in and help on that side. It looks like most of their ammunition's gone. 停住，做好准备，加快脚步。Killed the general as well. That's good. Now we can have you die charge forwards. Kill some more dudes. My guys ran out of ammunition. Oh no, I just stopped them firing. I hit the peasant spim in there. They don't have shields. Also, they're amongst everyone else. I could also hit this lot. I think most of them have shields. As you're saying that, it might be a better idea because a lot of these shots are hitting the walls right now. Okay, we'll hit these guys, the white wave veterans. They're very concentrated, actually, in that area. We'll say we've got our generals here, so they can clean up. On this side, we do have our protectors of heaven, which are just holding the line. Now we've got the missile fire coming in to support them. It's going to be a massacre. I think most of my guys are out of ammunition. Almost. Gonna make this into another group here. So we can keep pressing them forwards. Oh boy! Nice one, Xiao Yun. We got our protectors of heaven charging back in. What a brutal battle this has been, and there's still men to go. Oh, there's also the towers. Completely forgot about the towers. They must be hammering us. Get my generals in there ASAP. I'm gonna have to go through the reclaimers though, by the looks of things. <laughs> Saying that, our leaders are just killing them so quick. Let's go capture these towers. The trouble is capturing those towers. We have to capture the next towers, and the next towers just like never ending. I think I'm just gonna have my leaders like move there, take that. Mm, they're not going to make it. Come on, guys. Run through them. Oh, the towers are killing you, Dai. Are we capturing it? This time we were capturing it. We are not capturing it. At least they will die together. Come Xiao Yun. Get in there before your mate dies. Please. Capture the tower. Oh, that peasant warrior unit getting absolutely mashed. 
We lost a lot of health on our leaders here because of these towers. Thankfully, it looks like we stopped it. Thank God. Now we're just going to make sure we don't get attacked by the next one. Right there, we're all good. Do have some ammunition left. Uh, where should we put it? Put it there. That's fine. Phew. Okay. Uh, well, we'll just move these guys forwards. I was really worried our leaders were going to die then. That would have been disastrous. I'm not sure Zhao Yun would have died because he would have been just wounded most likely, but still pretty savage. Right, time to get our cav inside. The cav can actually run round and capture the towers. How much ammo have they got left? 12%? That's oh, actually quite a lot. The range fire there might help us out just enough. <laughs> Come back here, Xiaoyun. Right, where's our cav? It is coming. Just very slowly. This unit of yellow dragons right here has been an absolute champ. I think the tower's doing a lot of damage to us here. Oh no! Guys, get back in the tower radius. Alright, time to get these guys inside. And I'm probably just going to have these climb the walls. We can send these two in on the right side. Fighting to the last man. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, I just remembered, like, these towers, they do so much damage to Cav. Yeah, this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> I think we've almost won, though. <laughs> yeah, we have. Wow. What a battle. That was crazy. Like, how close that was? Much closer than usual. With a night battle, that probably would have been over sooner, but still incredible. The streets are running red with blood. Imagine if the blood pooled out. It would literally be everywhere. Crazy stuff. You will take that, though, Parrot Victory. I mean, at least we didn't need a second army to get the job done. Respect begets loyalty. Fear harbors revolt. Inattentive leadership leads to disdain. Alright. 7,000 killed. That's just incredible. Alright, G Bai. Do we get the Stone of Con Stone Statue of Confucius? We do. That's very nice. Thank you very much. We'll take that large regional city. I will probably keep the communal grain distribution for now. Uh, let's convert this one to the food production. Are uh, we demolish that? Probably demolish that as well, actually. Actually, you may as well keep it since we can use it. Alright, time for Zhang Liao to take out the Runan Iron Mine. Uh, that's actually an auto resolve. So, was that the last battle? I guess it was. 
That would have just been another massacre. Another settlement massacre. And the saviour of our nation. Of the nation, sorry. While fleeing the city, you realise that your wife and child are still inside. Didn't we get this before? <laughs> okay. Well, in one turn, we've almost entirely wiped out her yi. Which is kind of crazy. Uh, this guy leveled up. Congratulations. We'll give him the wisdom of the river. We executed so many yellow turban leaders there. It's like we just decided we didn't like the yellow turbans anymore. We're just like, oh, see ya. Resolve of the Righteous. Probably give him that. There you go. The special ability. Right, there should be a couple more, probably, that need leveling up. I guess we're going to go for Earthen Rampart there. Actually, no, we'll go for Vengeance. That's better. Let's use a Commander. Where's the other one that needs leveling up? Sima Yi is level 9. Very cool. And we can give him Judgment now. Although, what's this one? White Water. Effect Range. Is infinite. <laughs> wow. Okay. But do we want the extra 25% range damage? That is the question. I mean, that's pretty OP. He's almost at 200 cunning as well. <laughs> wow. Uh, is there anything we could give him to push that? He's got pretty much most of the best stuff. The only thing that could get better is if he had a weapon that gave him cunning. I think there is one that does give cunning. Yeah, Mo Yi. Lusu has it. If we gave that to Sumi Ye, he would have 200. I am tempted to do it. But either way, uh, we are not going to spend our money because I just want to move on to the next turn. I am conscious of the time. So let's carry on. They're probably just going to suicide into all of our settlements. There we go. Empiric victory. Okay, that should have been probably a bit more convincing, but there we go. We lose heroism for that. It's another Pyrrhic victory. Another mine minus nine heroism. Confucian Sage. Very cool. Well, there we go. Buchi has been seceded. And there were births and poo. Direct versus distinguished. Uh, we will... Go for direct. I like a direct person. Loyal, philanthropic, and honest. Loyal is really nice for Dayanyu. Rebellion in Anding. It's fine. And we'll go down there and crush that. I'm gonna go deal with that fella. Uh, we will cross the river here. Attack this fella. Give me that weapon. I want that weapon, mate. Give it to me. No way! Oh, it's just a two-handed mace. It's not Gongdu's weapon. Okay, never mind. We'll take that. We just got so much good stuff now. This is ridiculous. 
Alright, this guy can go into normal stance. And wipe out this rebellion. The rebellions don't seem to build up very fast at all. And that took ages to get that big. But he's done his job. Alright, now we just need to move on to her Yi's lands down here. Which I guess we'll do with Sun Tzu and uh, good old Min Shi here. Oh, there is a large army there. So we are going to have another battle on our hands by the looks of things. Alright. Alright, let's just quickly go through all of our armies. We just need to tell all of the armies to run towards the remaining forces. That's pretty much what we're going to do. She might just leave him there. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, he's staying. What about these guys? Uh, these can both head down. He needs to stay where he is because he's replenishing. And he can carry on as well. Alright, that's all of the armies moved. Who leveled up? Chao Lui. Not the leader of the army. We'll go for Passion. That is fine. Change a couple of these to Cataphracts, honestly. Alright, we'll end the turn. Did I not move Sun Xian? No, I guess it doesn't really matter. They're moving on their own. Well, he doesn't want to be fought. <laughs> He's just going to go in and kill himself. Yellow turbans are giving up. Ooh, nice. That was a very nice horse. Didn't see exactly what stats it had. He Yi, Vassalize. Qian, Qi Sheng. They're now dead, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see, what force was that? Plus 8 cunning, that was a black elite. Very nice. Uh, maybe we give that to Simi Yi. I mean, what is his cunning at the moment? 192. Oh my. Now 194. This doubles the ammunition of units now, almost. That's ridiculous. I'm almost at 100k as well, because I haven't been spending it. Because we're pretty much at the end of the campaign, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, i just got to head down and headhunt this lady. Well, that's just a rebellion, they're going to stand and fight anyway. And they're dead. It's going to be just us left alive on the map. That's all of the armies up here dead. Just her Yi. He's the last man alive. Congrats to him for making it this far. But I'm sorry mate, you're pretty dead. Uh, let's go ahead and attack the farmland. We're going to starve them out. We're going to bring up Sun Tzu. I'm going to bring over... I'm tempted to bring over you, Dai. <laughs> if I could make it, I'd bring over all of the armies. Let's just do it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> It'd be crazy. This will be the most men that I've had in a battle, I think. Alright. In we go. Uh, 
Maybe I should have kicked them out for a win in. We have got a lot of new ancillaries, but I don't think we have much any new weapons, so I don't think it would make too much of a difference. This is gonna be crazy. The game's already breaking, thinking about it. I think I'm actually going to have to fend off the uh, reinforcements first, because otherwise that's going to be a bit of a ball like. So let's just make the army like so. I'm tempted to maybe leave the trebuchets here, uh, but that could be a bad idea. I guess we have enough cav to kind of defend it, so we'll do it. All right. Uh, Minshi, what's your stuff like? You do have a pretty decent weapon, don't you? And so do you, Gunner. I'm going to decline those for now. We can have Sinsu come over here and duel some of them. I'm probably going to want to just charge, honestly. Let's make sure we're hitting their archers there. I'm going to have all of these lot charge this guy. Oh, is there like a maximum amount of men you can count have in a battle? Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like uh, charging all your cab into leaders doesn't work as well as it used to. A lot of my cows just dying there, but oh well. Uh, that is actually still working. That's good. Okay, uh, let's make sure we're targeting those peasant archers. Get rid of them. Uh, he's doing a runner. We'll chase him down. Maybe this guy might want to duel. We shall see. Alright, we took out that general. Very good. It might be worth just telling a lot of the cataphracts to leave so that we can get in some more ranged units. Right, will he take that duel? He will. Very bad duel for him. He's already lost health. Ooh, but the first hit goes to Liang Guang. Can he match up to Sun Tzu though? Did a lot of damage there. Managed to dodge that. Oh, he's doing a lot of work. And so he's not having a fun time. Oh, got a good hit in there. 
I think uh, Sincere's lack of melee evasion really doesn't help him out very much. One Sincere. There you go. That's another win. Listen, sir. All right. Well, uh, we didn't even take down the towers, and um, we don't have any ammunition left. So, this is going to be one hell of a battle. Uh, actually, we do have some ammunition left there. Twenty-seven percent. That should be enough. All right. That's the reinforcements taken care of, anyway. Alright, speed things up. Need to get my mercenary archers into position to burn down that tower and then the next. I hope they have enough ammunition to do both, otherwise we're going to be taking a lot of damage. Those towers... Are they not firing at those? Interesting. I think Gan Lu gives... Oh, that's charge resistance, never mind. It always looks like a uh, ranged block chance. The Urban Rampart. Oh, that's already 75% damaged. Okay, cool. Got them both. Alright, now it is time. Line up, chaps. Actually, let's just bring them forwards. Time for them to charge. On yellow dragons, get in there. We'll have all our leaders dismount and charge in as well. It's gonna be awesome. And the camp can be lined up behind. Well, look at the amount of archers they've got. Might take a little while. Oh man, dismount. Like my little, little wrecking ball here. Go kill her ye. <laughs> the AI just, <laughs> of my soldiers just doesn't know what to do because there's so many heroes charging forwards. We're going to lose a lot of men to these archers. I just realised I completely forgot to check the kills on my leaders in that siege battle we had. And that camera shake there. Oh, look at the cab. Lined up. Looks awesome. <laughs> I 
Hai Yi is uh, gonna get surrounded by my leaders in a sec. Look at that arrow fire coming, it is thick. It is thick. Well, how to kill a leader in two seconds, guys. Hai Yi is a goner. He managed to get back full health after the last battle. He's got Sky Piercer. Just Lu Bu's weapon. I don't know what ever happened to Lu Bu. We, we didn't. We never found out. He just kind of disappeared. Oh, he's a gunner. Uh, let's take uh, Zinsu out of that group because he's pretty low on health. And the rest can keep charging in. They ran out of ammunition. <laughs> the arrows have finally stopped landing. Time to kill the rest of them. Right. Get the cab into the flanks. Trouble is with these, because they have glaives, they're probably going to be pretty good at stopping our cav, but. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's get in there. <laughs> Since they're still fighting away. Just doesn't give up. We just took down that leader so quickly. Oh, I didn't even realize we had the range block chance from Chengpu. That might have been useful earlier. <laughs> My bad. Oh well. Nothing like some good bodies to meet shield the arrows for us. Since <laughs> <laughs> running around like a madman. You know how fast he runs. Like, oh, hey, you die. <laughs> nice to see you on the other side of all of these men. <laughs> Alright, we need to ride on through here. I think those got shot to pieces by the archers. We'll just capture the towers. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter if we get inside, so... We'll just get inside. <laughs> Did I not send six units around here? Where's the other units gone? I must have misclicked. What are these? Yuxia? Okay. Oh, they're dead. That's what they are. Oh, here goes nothing. Oh, boy. The mass of this cavalry is just insane. It is ridiculous how good they are. Our 
cab just charged into them there and annihilated them so quickly. I think our cab there might actually lose. That's okay. Watching them blitz those men. I honestly, cavalry has not been this satisfying to use since Medieval 2 Dread of War, and that is saying something. Incredible. I'm starting to break a lot of them now. Oh, they actually held those Lance Cav. Absolute champions. And the Bringers of Righteousness got absolutely rampaged by the Cataphract. That is crazy. I don't even care about the Spearmen at this point. We just need to kill off the rest of the unbreakable stuff and then we're good. Everything's running. It is just the one dude here that needs to die. Well, there we go. That was a bit more of a meat grinder than usual, because we didn't have as many ranged forces. Only good. Very dramatic death there. 8,600 versus 7,000. We didn't manage to see them all on the battlefield. That certainly tops off our heroism. Some good ancillaries gained. We'll take that Jade Sickle, thank you very much. And we'll occupy. Okay. Well, that leaves this guy alive, and that's going to be the end of her Yi. Alright. Look at that. Right, I really want to just end the turn here. And annihilate him in the next turn. And then that'll be the last faction dealt with. All of my armies are probably just going to end up moving themselves. But what an episode this has been. We've had so many battles. I didn't expect there to be like that one big last one against a Yi, but here he comes. <laughs> this is good old Sheng Wang coming in for the last time. He's a gunner. I would have really liked one of these to be an open field battle so that we could have just charged with all our cataphracts and stuff. That would have been so cool. But that is it. That is victory. All factions destroyed. We are the last alive. That is it. Finest armor. Exquisite weapon. Well, look at this stuff here. Relationships lost. That's because of all of the guys who are next to each other there. So many friends made. Let's have a look at our core, actually. Is there anyone here that is special? No. That is it. We've done. All provinces and commanderies under our control. Every single one. Incredible. I have thoroughly enjoyed Total War Three Kingdoms. I think it's probably one of the best Total War games Creative Assembly have released in a long time. 
That's not to say that their other Total War games have not been good, but I think this definitely stands out. I would say it's a solid favourite since Shogun 2. And I would say in my rankings, like Medieval 2 and Rome Total War are probably up there on the top. Then probably Shogun 2 and Total War Three Kingdoms probably comes close third and fourth, honestly. Like, I've really, really enjoyed this. And I've played a bit of records with one of my friends, Co-op. And the game's definitely designed for romance. And I actually like it. I like it a lot. I was not convinced at the start that I would enjoy all of these, like, leaders and upgrading them with different stuff. But honestly, this kind of RPG element is really kind of cool. I've really, really enjoyed it. And hopefully you guys have as well. We've had quite the campaign. Taking every single province. It's been a long one. We've got 135k sat in the bank. Kingdom of Wu. Now I would say the Empire of Wu. Has certainly succeeded. So there we have it. Sun Qian saw it to the end. He is 64 years old, managed to conquer the entirety of China in his lifetime. Changing history forever, guys. <laughs> Make sure to go check out the community tab on my Vulcan Total War YouTube channel so that in the future you can vote for one of the next campaigns. I will be doing an Eight Princes campaign of my own choice, but another campaign will be left entirely up to you guys. But until the next video, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.